I'm at Hocking Hill State Park in Ohio near Columbus and it's supposed to be a really great park. Kind of reminds me of Tallulah Gorge in Georgia which is awesome. So we have a visitor center. There's um, one trail I was going to do that's um, like six miles but I'm also going to do uh, maybe go to the caves. There's a bunch of caves here as well. I don't know if they do tours. So let's find out. Let's go park in the sun and go check out the visitor center. This is great. So I've got about five hours before I have to um, be at Starbucks to call Harriet on Zoom. So yeah, let me just go over here. Okay, Old Man's Cave and Whispering Cave. Warning cliff area. Climb on rocks, climbing on rocks prohibited. Throwing objects over cliffs prohibited. Okay. Swimming and wading is prohibited. Well, that's no fun. It's like the no fun area. I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right, so I'm going to the visitor center and gonna look for the trailhead. So they have a one-way trail to Upper Falls, Devil's Bathtub, Old Man's Cave, Lower Falls, Whispering Cave Loop. Okay. So you go to the far end of the parking lot to Upper Falls. You'll go down to the base of the waterfall, down through the gorge, past Devil's Bathtub, past Old Man's Cave, and then past Lower Falls. You'll stay to the left of the creek following Blue Blazes. Um, anytime you see a letter that's a map there, these maps here are not there. Okay. Um, so don't be looking for F, F won't be there. Okay. But you'll follow the Blue Blazes going over roots, boulders, rocks can be a lot of work. If you need a bathroom, they're right here. Okay. If not, come on the yellow and then come up the steps and then you're going to be on that gorge overlook trail. You'll come back and once you hit here, it's pretty much downhill the whole way. So if you lost any time here, you're going to make work coming back here. All right, so I got a map and she said Ash Cave is another one. So I'm going to hit all of the sites on the trails. They have all of these. Oh, there we go, Ash Cave. They have all of these trails. These are great. Cedar Falls, Conkles Hollow. And you can walk through here. Oh, exit only. Okay, so let me go through. So yeah, so it should take two hours. I'll, I'll hike pretty fast. It's uphill and then it's downhill. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go this way. Danger, stay on trails. Ooh, so scary. Oh no, this is so hard. I think this is the whole trail. <laughs> so you can actually practice, make sure your grippy shoes are grippy. Oh no, oh, tripped. <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> that'll be me. I fall over my face at least one today. Okay, let's go hike. Well, this is a first. This is a one-way six-mile trail. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you to whoever recommended Hocking Hills. <gasps> Look at this. Ohio, gazaimas. <laughs> oh, wow. This is beautiful. The hike this morning was good at a national park, but damn, this is a state park. I think this one wins the hike of the day. All right, so it is 3.56, so it's 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Um, Central. So I have three and a half hours before I have to log on. Should be enough time. I hike pretty fast. This is great. Look at this. This is beautiful. Great for kids too. Lots of ledges though, so be careful. Okay, so I'm actually going the opposite way. This is fun, the opposite way than the ranger told me to go, which is fine. These are fun steps. Oh, wow. This is like a little jungle gym, all these like really cool formations to climb on. All right, I'm only like 0.2 miles in. I need to hurry up and get the hike done. This is fantastic. So we're gonna go past all the caves as well. Right, this is Old Man's Cave, more of a tunnel. And there's a lot of offshoots. So Old Man's Cave is this way, um, but I'm gonna go to Lower Falls and Whispering Cave. So I just continue on. This looks like a freaking fairy forest. What is this place? I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Okay, I'm lost at this intersection. There's a bridge. Um, so I think I go up there. That is amazing. Now I need to get to the lower falls, but there's another trail. I don't want to get on that trail at the lookout. I just want to go this way. This is fantastic. Okay, I think I'm back on track. This is fun. This is like a little forest 
mossy forest playground and up the stairs. So that's what he was saying, Those, or she was saying rather. Uh, there was more stairs to do on this side and it's literally downhill the other way. This is great. Stairs are easy. Uphill, much easier than downhill. All right. So yeah, that's Old Man's Cave that loops around. That goes to a different trail. Everything's one way. So if I'm going the opposite than everyone else, then I know I'm wrong. This is absolutely blowing me away. Oh, shit. I wish you could just capture it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Slippery. How incredible this is. This hike, two miles in, has every possible feature you can imagine. Caves, uphill, downhill, boulders, um, waterfalls, water features, unique bridges. It's crazy. How do I get around? I think I go through here. This is insane. There's literally all these like random waterfalls falling from the caves, just trickling down. This is fantastic. I'm two and a half miles in. I've been hiking for 50 minutes. Um, so this is the harder side. The other side is pretty tame. I think it comes out over there. It's weird, like I got, kind of got turned around a little bit. Um, this is good. Yeah, all trails is not completely accurate. I think because the down trees, a few times you're just kind of rerouted, but that's fine. I'm near the bottom of the hike and we're back to one way to Cedar Falls, Buckeye Trail, Old Man's Cave Gorge Trail. Okay, so I've gone three miles, halfway, and now the home stretch. So this is Cedar Falls and there's these two people which are not supposed to be in the water and they're smoking. Thanks. That mess is, seriously, State Park, no smoking. Now I'm heading onto the Gorge Overlook Trail, and that goes back to the Old Man's Cave. And three miles, okay. Three miles, that's about right, on my watch. In addition to everything else, we also get a dam. <laughs> so I assume I walk across the dam. It's a pretty shallow lake. This is beautiful. The Gorge Overlook is down here somewhere, I don't know where. The last two miles of the hike is just through this forest, which is fine, and it's mostly downhill, so it's great to just get a nice relaxing stroll through the woods. Not a lot of views on either side, but it's nice. All the, uh, all the stuff is on the other side, so go uh, counterclockwise, and uh, it's one way, most of that way anyway, so you have to go that way. This is great. Okay, so I'm almost back at the visitor center, and then I'm heading into Columbus to Starbucks to call Harriet, and then heading to the rest area near Cincinnati. And tomorrow is Indiana, and then I fly home the day after. Well, that's convenient. I just went over a bridge over the old man's cave, and now I'm back at the uh, Welcome Center. I'll go get my wallet. I left it in the van and go see if there's anything I want to buy, if they're still open. I don't know what time they close. This is great. It's still pretty light, early, like late in the day here. Um, okay, well, that's good. That was actually 5.3 miles. There's probably another mile north of here that I could do, but for some reason I kind of started like already on the trail. And I think the visitor center might be closed. That's cool. Okay, I will definitely, absolutely come back here. That was fantastic. And uh, yeah, some of the water you can jump in, some of it you can't. So just pay attention to the signs. All right, my humble abode for tonight is a very, 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 very busy rest area on the north side of Cincinnati. There are thousands of trucks here. Holy crap, it is gonna be loud tonight. And the nearest loves is like 26 miles away. So I'm going to 
park. Literally, there's a thousand million trucks. There better be a parking space. Um, okay, there's some trucks and vans. Oh, it's gonna be loud. I don't want it to be loud. I think it'll be quieter this end. Oh no, other trucks can fit. Okay, so I'm just gonna park here. I guess I have to park in the middle. Oh, it's okay. I've got my sound machine on, so that's fine. All right, I'm just gonna go next to this guy. Maybe I should go down at the end. All right, let me go down at the end. If not, I can just back up. Um, but anyway, I don't know why the north side of uh, Cincinnati is all adult shops, Hustler Casino, <laughs> and uh, Skyline Chili, which sounds horrible. It's like spaghetti with cheese and chili, and I guess it's a Cincinnati thing. Okay, so if I go down at the end, it is so loud. All right, I'm gonna back up. Okay, I think I know where I'm gonna park, back at the end. All right, there's enough freeway noise that I should be fine. These electric prime vans are pretty cool though. I can't wait till I see somebody make it into a tiny home. I'm like, oh, it's such a waste of a tiny home. <laughs> anyway, there's a couple van life vans here. All right, this is fine. It's loud with the, the um, road noise will actually drown out the um, truck noise, which is great. So I think I'll be fine. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs>